All right, so on the review, 1A is, do you want broadcast or do you want your computer? I can select if there's anybody not want me to broadcast? Uh, you don't care one way or the other? Okay, that doesn't make a difference to you. All right. So you can choose what computer you broadcast to? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a wizard. Okay. All right, so anybody need to keep their computer? All right. I got you a little wizard hat if you wear it sometimes. Yes. And see? X is equal to negative B. All right, there we go. Can you get it? Can you record it? Can we record your scene? Can you never see it? Sure, as long as it's about calculus, I will make a fool of myself. Drives home a point. Like, other stuff? Like, I mean, other calculus or what? ditties or whatever? Uh, no, I, I can't think of anything. Well, there is the uh, calculus rhapsody, which is a pretty good little uh, like Bohemian Rhapsody with a whole bunch of calculus and rules inside of it. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right, let's uh, remember we're going to do integration by parts. Integration by parts. Formula is number one on your integration tables. It is uh, integral u dv is uv minus integral v du. So you identify what is the uh, what, what you're going to use as u and what you're going to use as dv. So uh, remember the, the the right choice for u is generally what when you take its derivative makes it simpler, right? So in this case. E to the minus 3t, if I took the derivative of that, it stays itself, so it doesn't get simpler. So it makes sense to do u is t, u is t, and dv would be everything else. So here's u and here's dv. So e to the minus 3t dt. And so du becomes simply dt. v is the integral of this. E to negative 3t. But you got to have a factor to correct, because if you took the derivative of that, you'd have a minus 3 out front. Negative 1 third out front to take care of that factor. Because the derivative of V needs to be your DV. Don't forget the chain rule. All right, so now this becomes... Integral uv t times v, so I'm going to do a negative one-third e to the minus 3t. Minus three. Now, I'll, I'll rewrite that just real quick. Negative one-third t e to the minus 3t. This minus and a minus plus, pull out the one-third. Integral of e to the negative 3t dt. And then I need to take this integral right there. But dt and cancel Do what? So you just have e to the negative 3t. What happened? Okay. Are you sure? Um, uh, well, now I'm going to take the antiderivative of this. Same way that I actually did it up here. It turns out just to be that guy again, right? So it is e to the minus 3t with a negative one-third out front. And then I've still got the one-third here. And I've still got this minus one-third t e to the minus 3t out here. And i got a plus c. So I, I was toying with an idea about your test, and I think I decided that it was a terrible idea. 
you know, I told you I was going to pull one problem out of each section. Mm -hmm. I thought what I'd do is like have the kind of a, a lottery uh, or I guess a random selection. So everybody's test would be different. Like Austin would come in and I would choose one problem from the first pot, one problem from the second pot, one problem from the second, third pot, and give him one of each type, but randomly do that for everybody. So everybody got... You can toy around with the idea of putting multiple of each on there and you pick one. Pick what you want. Yeah, see that? I didn't like that either because I want to have you not do only the easiest ones every single time. Make them all super hard. Like that's what you want, right? right? Sure, let's make them all super hard. Question about that? Is that one okay? All one super hard. The one super No, I'm, I'm not going to do it that way. I am going to choose one of each type, but you're going to have the same test. Makes it easier to grade for one. And there's no chance of you getting, like, all the hard ones. Right? Like, if I did that, Simone would get, like, all the real easy ones. Right? And then everybody else would get all the real hard ones. And, you know, I need to challenge her after what she did on the first test. Maybe I should just give her the hard test and everybody else. Yeah, she could go for that. Hmm? Are you just curve all of ours except for hers? Because we don't want her. We don't want her to curve all of ours. Because she'll make a hard Did I lose you anywhere on this? Do, do I need to go back over anything? Okay. All right, that's all I'm going to do from one. We can come back to another one later if you need to, but let's do trig integrals. Remind ourselves of the trig integral strategy. By the way, it actually has a reference of that on the reference pages, um, I believe. I thought I saw that somewhere. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, no, it's not on here. I thought I remembered seeing it on here. Maybe it was on a different one that I haven't been in print. All right, so um, what I'm referring to, and I'm going to stop this.